everybody in here sitting out here on my front porch having my coffee with all of you I got Papa over there he's on the lead he doesn't like it one bit but he's got to get used to it because first thing in the morning before I woke up and I've gotten going yet he's gonna be out on the lead to do his little business his morning business and then I'll take him out for walks once I get going because um, he's still gonna need exercise it just has to be very controlled and he starts his shots on Thursday um, so <sighs> Anyhow, um, I'm wearing my snuggle, and I've also got my jammies on. I don't know if you can see them. Yep, my jammies, too. They all match. I look so cute. I look like Little Red Buffalo Chick Riding Hood. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys, last night um, evening, just before dark, after I put the chickens up, I was looking around my property, and from in the distance, I saw it. I saw something. So I'm going to show you that footage from last night. Okay, it's, I don't know, around 5 p.m. It's out here. It's just kind of like raining down a little bit. So I was out here taking Papa, Papa for a little walk. And I was surveying things by the stream. I looked across the stream right over there. And what do you think I saw? Let's see if you can see it. Can you see those logs over there? Can you see them? They're right there. Can you see what's on them? Can you tell? We're going to go look at them. I know what they are. I already went and looked at them. I'm so excited. There's still quite a bit of brush up around here, but it's not too bad. Look at this log. All right. What we see here, these are not edible mushrooms. Okay, I, I've seen those before. But what I'm totally stoked about when we get through these stickers... Look at this. Look at these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful oyster mushrooms. Oh my gosh. They're all over this log. And look, there's more coming down there and there's young ones. This piece was already broken off. I don't know if any animal came around or whatever, but they're fresh. They don't look like they're infested. Nope. So, it's late tonight. I think that I am just going to harvest just a little bit of them and take them inside and fry them up in a pan. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. Look at all of these. Look at all of them. There are multiple different kinds of mushrooms that are on this tree stump. I had actually thought of cutting this up and burning it, but nope, nope, nope. This is gonna be another log that's gonna stay here forever because of its mushrooms. Oh, this, this is, whew. I need to figure out which ones I wanna harvest. I don't wanna, I don't wanna take them all off the tree right now. I just wanna take enough to eat tonight. This is all I've taken right now. I broke them up a little bit. It's easier if you just cut the entire bunch off of the tree but I don't need to eat all those so I am just taking this little bit that I took off of here and I've still got all these other ones left I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do something with them but there's new ones coming up so oh, I'm so so happy I took a few still photos of them just because well I like still photos of the mushrooms but there was a huge bounty of them on this log so I am just blessed that these are going to make basically four meals for me, and that's all I harvested. Fried them up in a pan, and look at that. They were so good. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I thought so. They were delicious fried up like that. So this morning, oh, Papa, he's on the lead. He doesn't like it. It's okay, big boy. Come on. He does not like it. He doesn't think he can pull it, but he can. Um, so this morning after I finish my coffee, I'm going to put on my boots, get dressed, and go over and probably harvest the rest of them because they're not going to last very long. I'll leave the little ones there and uh, maybe a couple of the older ones as well. And maybe they can keep coming up, you know, time after time. That would be so wonderful. So I'm going to um, chop some up, scramble them in my eggs this morning. And then I'm going to make a nice spaghetti sauce later tonight and have some spaghetti with those beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. And I may even see if there's a way I can dry them out. Now, there's no way I can dry them out right now without a dehydrator, but I do have that camp oven. So I'm thinking maybe I can just do them in that on a very low heat and crack the door open so that 
you know, air can circulate and, and dry out. So I may try that too. But I think since it's going to be raining basically for the next three days solid, I am going to start some seats. And I've got some stuff I can do that with. And um, I may just take some soil out of the the chicken dust bath because it's so wet right now. Anyhow, the chickens aren't using it for a dust bath. And I'm going to use some worm castings because I'm pretty sure all my worms are dead. They, I mean, I went out there and checked on the worms and they were basically frozen solid like a brick. So I'll go check those out too and just start some seeds. Now I'm not going to be able to keep them outside. I think what I will probably do is start the seeds and put them outside like in a tray or something like that. And I've got like little greenhouse thingies on some of them and then I've got some plastic I can cover others with. Leave them outside during the day, bring them back inside um, during the nighttime overnight because I don't, you know, I don't want them to die <laughs> like what happened last year. And then probably not plant them in the ground till the very end of April, maybe the beginning of May, because I'm not willing to, um, you know, fail my seeds and my plants like I did last year. So I'm going to get started on some of that, and uh, stuff is coming up around here, so you can tell spring is on its way. Time to go mushroom hunting. Yes, indeed. I've got my little harvesting basket and I've lined it with some brown paper because that's the best to put your mushrooms in. And let's go see what we can find. Look at this stream. Yep, just like last year. It's all filled up. I got my little waterfall bag. <laughs> all right, where am I going to cross? Let's see here. Yep, they're still here and they've gotten even bigger. Now is a good time to harvest them. I am going to take most of them except for the really small ones. And I'm going to cut them off with this lovely knife. That's this stump. And see, I cut most of the mushrooms away, but I left a little bit on there. There. I got a big patch from down in between there. But I'm leaving these other littler ones just to see what they can do. And look at what I got so far. I think that's mighty fine. Before I take them inside, I will take my knife and just cut away at some of this dirt and whatnot um, and inspect them for bugs. I always kind of look for the bugs a little bit first off, but because um, if they're too infested, I won't, I won't take them in. Look at that. There they are, all washed up. For the most part, I'm still going to take them inside and submerge them in water and kind of flush out those gills of anything that might be deep down in them. I cut off as much of the stem as I possibly could without damaging the mushroom. I think I need to cut a little bit more off that. Here's the stem pieces. I'm not going to throw them away. I am going to put them in a Ziploc bag and then when it gets time for me to make a nice stock, I'm going to throw them in the stock and boil them up and let them impart their flavor and then I will likely remove them afterwards because they're just too rubbery to eat, but they will impart a really nice flavor into a stock. It's just a little bit chilly outside and it was raining, so I got my hood up, but um, I need to go check the chickens now. I think they probably all laid their eggs. I got six yesterday and I'm hoping I'm gonna get six again today. So Megan, tell your son the chickens are coming. Come on out, beautiful babies. Yeah, let's see, we got one, two, three, Four, five, six, they're all out here. These poor chickens are gonna get so muddy. Yep, I got some of the grub terror grubs. Oh, they already killed all of them in that little dish. I scattered some around though, so all the girls could get some. And Romeo, got some there too. Let's go check the eggs. Oh, look who flew up just as I started filming. My goodness. Come on, girlfriend, let me just see what eggs we got in there. Come on, come on, chicken. Let me see. We got at least three. Oh, Coco, come on. Look at there. We got four. All right, Coco, I'll get them out so you can go lay your egg. Well, we got one leghorn and one of the brown egg layers that has not laid yet. I'm pretty sure the Coco's in there getting ready to lay an egg. But they've been coming up underneath of here when it rains and roosting in here, so that is awesome. And Romeo is a mighty mighty rooster look at that oh my gosh look at all these eggs you guys and i just gave away two dozen eggs to one of my neighbors so the rest have to go in yep i got lots of eggs 
lots and lots of eggs and I even used one last night to go with the oyster mushrooms and I haven't had my breakfast yet today so I'll get to use some of those plenty of eggs I am so blessed ah thank you Coco now you lady you need to get to work I'm pretty sure you're the last hand that hasn't laid yet I love you either way I did want to have a little look around at some of the little planter things that I got going on just to see if anything has changed there's Papa, he's on his lead, he doesn't like it, but he's got to get used to it, at least for the next three or four months. So, I'm going to disturb some leaves and see if things are still trying to grow. We're on this side of the porch right now, and here, I think there was some lemon balm trying to come up. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It never really flourished because of the water situation. So, I'm going to leave that covered. I'm going to get some more. Yep, these, these chives are definitely, definitely thriving. This is the rosemary, and I didn't cut it all the way down to the ground, but it looks like, it looks like it is trying, trying to hang in there. What's this? Shmoney. We don't need that. So, we're going to cover that back up, and I'll add some more leaves eventually. More chives are doing great. I think this is the sage. Um, it's going to be hard to tell. Yeah, there's no green on that. I don't know if that's going to survive. But, look at this oregano. This oregano is still hanging in there. Look at that. So, I may have oregano growing here. Alright, let's look at all the other ones. These chives are doing just fine. Here is the cedar tree. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth me transplanting or do you think it's dead? Give me your thoughts. Over here, we've got peppermint. And, yep, it's hanging in there. It's going to come back. Let's see. What did I plant over here? I don't remember. Um, I think this might be some thyme. And it looks like there's still some little green things down there. So we'll see if that happens. Over here, I think this is more thyme. Yep, yep, it's hanging in there. It's doing great. Uh, chives, of course, doing great. Um, what did I put over here? Yep, more time. It's. I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna come back. I think it's gonna be fine. Um. What? Oh, this is oregano. Yep, the oregano is hanging in there. Let's keep it covered up. And then over here. Oh, <laughs> that's chamomile. Does chamomile come back? I don't know. It looks like it's trying to. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some more leaves and really insulate these well. And then over here is peppermint. Yeah, this is definitely coming back. Cover that up. That's good. Um, this is the time. I haven't covered it up, so I don't know how that will do. We'll see. I'm not going to disturb these a lot, but these are the walking onions. And yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to be just fine. Chives are just fine. Got a little bit of something in there I don't want. Uh, see that walking onion coming through gonna be just fine and then here is a big bucket of peppermint yes indeed that's gonna be just fine awesome this is the beauty berry now I may have made a mistake by not cutting this back down further but it doesn't look totally dead let's see the, the bottom stems still look green um I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be fine because, look, let's see, look at right there, right there, that's a little bud it looks like, looks like a little leaf trying to form, so hopefully this, this will survive and come back. This is the passion fruit vine, no signs of life, so I don't know, I probably killed it and the chickens, I mean it kept trying to grow, but the chickens kept coming back and eating it. <laughs> And look at here, here's in the beauty berry. What do you think those are? I think I planted some like beets and stuff. So I don't know, that may just be kind of grass and weeds and stuff. I'm just gonna let it grow and see what happens. Look at this beautiful worm I found crawling around. Should I put it in the worm bed? I think they're all dead. You know what I'm gonna do? I think that I'm gonna go put it right over here yeah buddy 
Let's just get you a little place to dig down underneath. And you just go make yourself happy, okay? Bye-bye, little worm. I'll move this table over here. And, yep, I'll be getting rid of all these buckets and whatnot. I mean, I might keep them in certain places, but most of them... Most of those, at least, are going to be used for planting. And I'm going to clean this one out and actually use it for drinking water. <laughs> but I'm going to do my seed starts. Thank you, Romeo. I'm going to put my seed starts out here during the day in a tray. And then I'm going to bring them inside at night because there's no sunlight inside the tiny house. So, yeah, this will work for now. I've got this one tray that I can put a few of the seed starts in and I've got another one inside, at least one, maybe two, um, that I can put out here too. This will reflect the sunlight as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I will probably do that for the next video. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll save that for the next video. Ah, thank you, Coco. Now you, lady, you need to get to work. I'm pretty sure you're the last hand that hasn't laid yet. I love you. Either way. Thank you, Leghorn. Yep, got six eggs again today. You girls did a good job. Time to go play. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Why must you always go this way? Graze on my land. <laughs> they always want to go over to the neighbors. I just want them to stay here. Come on, chickens. Go, go, go. Yep, Romeo shows them where the good stuff is. There, I got them over onto this side of my property by the stream. There's plenty for them to hunt and peck around with. I think I'm just going to try and train them to automatically go this way from now on. Yep, there's plenty there to eat, guys. The new neighbor just pulled up. Um, I have not seen Mr. You-Know-Who over there. I did see a car pull up today, and I think it was one of his family members maybe came and got some stuff. I don't know what they did. But the young couple with their kids came out and the kids were all jumping around being happy and whatnot. So hopefully this is a resolved. The trailer in the truck is still there. And so that's going to be a chore getting it off. So I don't know what happened to the squatter, but he's not been back as far as I know. So anyway, um, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.